This is problem number four for section 2.6. And this problem says find the limit as x approaches infinity for the cube root of one plus 27x cubed over x cubed plus two. Now this problem is a little funky just because you're gonna do an algebra manipulation that you're definitely not gonna be used to. Uh, we've got the limit as x approaches infinity of one over x being zero. We're gonna still try to try to use this to cancel things out on the inside of this radical. But the key is, how do I get a multiplication of one over x or one over x cubed in this case, right? Because x cubed is in the denominator, that's the highest power. How do I get one over x cubed inside of this radical? What do I gotta multiply the whole thing by to do that? Well, I guess the best question you gotta ask yourself is what's the cube root of one over x cubed? Well, the cube root of one over x cubed is gonna equal one over x. So essentially, if I write multiplication of one over x on the outside of this radical, then that means on the inside of the radical, I can write one over x cubed, and that would be the exact equivalent of just being this multiplication of one over x on the outside. So that's how we start the problem. We're gonna say limit as x approaches infinity of cube root one plus 27x cubed, and we're gonna have this being multiplied by one over x cubed because we multiplied the original cube, uh, cube function by one over cube root function, I should say, by one over x and then do the same thing to the bottom. So we end up with x cubed plus two times one over x cubed. Okay, now keep in mind, we multiplied by one over x, so when we wanna bring that inside the cube root, we know that we can bring it in as one over x cubed because if we were cube root this, that'd go right back to being one over x. So that's the kind of the weird algebra move that you can do there, but it's, I mean, it should make perfect sense that, that, that you can do that just not common that we've done that before. So we're gonna get equals limit as x approaches infinity, and we get the cube root. When we multiply that through, that's gonna be one over x cubed plus 27 over, and when we multiply the one over x cubed here, we get one plus two over x cubed. Keep in mind this is inside the radical as well. I should probably extend that down. This is gonna equal, when I go ahead and throw this x to uh, limit as x approaches infinity inside here, and I evaluate this part, well that's one over x, so that's just zero plus 27 over one plus, this is zero. And remember, it's all being cube rooted. So I end up with the cube root of 27, right? 27 over 1. And the cube root of 27 is 3. So the limit as x approaches infinity for this cube root is 3.